How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And today we're going to be going over eight different grounding techniques you can use. These are the eight things that I use pretty much daily. Number one, listen to your surroundings. Take a moment and listen to the noise around you. What can you hear? Dogs? Cars? People talking? Do you know what language they're speaking? Let the sounds wash over your mind and then just remind you where you are in the present. Two, try the 54321 method. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to quickly break it down for you. If not, I recommend Googling it. It's a really effective technique and I'd 100% recommend it. So you start by working backwards from five. You use your five senses to list things. An example, list five things you can hear. Four things you can see. Three things you can touch from where you're sitting. Two things you can smell. One thing you can taste. Make a little effort to notice the things that you would usually just go about your day and not really pay much attention to. Pay attention to detail, such as that little hum your computer makes. How often do you pay attention to that? We all know it's there. Do we ever sit and listen to it? Probably not. Number three, if you have a pet, sit with them, cuddle them, stroke them, feel their fur, look at the colours of their fur, look at all the different colours that mix together. If you have a hamster or something small, hold it in your hand and feel how it feel it on your hand. Here's a picture of me and my hamster. I love my hamsters. Number four, list three favourite things such as m movies, music, books, places to visit. Number five, five is my favourite, I use this every single day. The breathing square is where you breathe in with it and out with it and it just regulates your breathing. It's so good with anxiety and this one thing has helped me so much. Without this, I, I would not be able to function. I use it every single day without fail. 100% recommend this. Number six, listen to music. Music is definitely helpful. It can take away from the surrounding you're in. If you're in a really triggering environment, being able to black it out with music is sometimes really helpful. Number seven, list positive things. Things that bring you positive memories, things that bring you joy, things that make you smile. I've got a photo that right there of me and my little sister and I look at that photo every night and I miss her like crazy but that one photo is well it was my birthday and I saw her there, and it's her photo giving me a card and I've still got the card like I love her to pieces and brings a smile to my face. Also I didn't mention this in the intro, I'm in a hospital at the minute. You can probably tell a video about that coming soon in the life update. I was going to film a life update today, I just, I don't feel up to it. Touch something comforting. Comforting items are key. So I have like three main things. I have this. Me and my little sister have both got one of these. I got us both one. They're like our little, we're still connected as long as we have this. And then I've got my weighted blanket, which I've done a review on. Link to that in the description down below. And I've got a unicorn. My unicorn. They're my three comforting items. So my weighted blanket, my bed that connects me to my sister, and my unicorn that comes everywhere with me. Comes to every hospital appointment I have, every admission I've had, every GP appointment. My unicorn comes with me. We stand the unicorn. Hashtag unicorn in the comments. I hope some of these skills are useful for you. And if you've got any other skills that you think would be helpful, let me know in the comments. Let's make a community. Let's share. My Facebook group will also be linked in the comments. My Facebook group will also be linked in the description down below. So please come join that. Come join us. Let's have a conversation. Let's make some videos together. Let's build a community that actually can has and is trying to make change because we can all sit and talk about wants and change but until people we actually start doing it we're never gonna get it. a anyway, quick shout out to my patreons junk shop library and sky high tower thank you for becoming a patreon and if anyone is interested in the support in this channel there is an amazon wish list my paypal and patreon of course they're all in the description down below any and all support is appreciated and i will see you guys soon in a new video peace I'm, I'm li literally, literally on the side board, but um, hi.